Hello and welcome. My name is Nilas. This is episode 47 of our Let's Play campaign. Angels Mods tutorial Let's Play. Well, it's becoming, of course, less and less of a tutorial and more and more of a Let's Play as the game progresses and the base gets bigger. We have a, had another session and this is a summary of the last streaming session plus a bit of work I've done between sessions. So let's, uh, let's dive in. Basically, the base is now fully converted into these mechanics of having each roboport or oh, actually let's show it out here each roboport or each city block is covered entirely with a, a, a little uh, robo what call logistics area here so logistics bot cannot cross the path the sacred path and they can stay within here and they go in so there are requesters and providers and that will generate massive uh, Massive buffers in around the base, but I don't care because the whole thing here, let's remove that overlay. Going all the way down, we have a large buffer coming in here. I'm trying to get the 7.37 million for everyone. And we've also hired up some Crotinium. So let's look at the Crotinium because this is something I did between sessions. I made this long lineup here and I created all of these city blocks, which I probably never will be using, but even in any case, I have it now. The reason why I did it was because then I could get up here, make a new sapphire deposit because we didn't actually have a sapphire deposit. It was running out. And that was in, let me just show, it was down here. You can see that 12 was actually a sapphire deposit. This one was coal maybe. And they've now been emptied. And therefore I had to tap on another one because this was actually kind of in the way. So let's start tapping it. It, used, it started as 15, now it's 14. So we've already taken 1 million out. These eight for Jewelite, we are not going to take them just yet because we have a more annoying Jewelite deposit here, which we've reduced from 9.9 .9 to 4.5. So we'll take the ones that are most in the way and get those out of the way first. Now, um, Crotinium, Crotinium, wasn't there also a new Crotinium? Oh yeah, all the way up here, I had to explore out to get another Crotinium deposit. You can see here, the trains are still coming in and still being loaded. We are just cutting in swathes of of this as well so we can uh, we can get more 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 we need more crotinium because that's the one, only thing we have not fully stocked up down here now in the intermediate ones uh, let's have a look at what i created in last episode so let's start, jump in the car and drive here if i can drive better when i do not when I not look at chat in the meantime let's go to go 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 all the way down here this thing is the first thing we did this is zinc so in the previous episode you remember that we did aluminium over here aluminium nice amounts and we did some concrete over here concrete and those are three of the ingredients if you look at some random thing here and when we get up to a certain level that level for example then it, all of it will require aluminium, concrete, and brass. And the brass comes from zinc. So that's why I'm creating zinc. Zinc in itself is not particularly interesting, but it is a necessity. Getting it into ingots here. This is a standard setup that is identical to what we have everywhere else. Then we get the zinc ingots. They will also be useful when we get silver zinc, uh, silver zinc batteries, but that's a bit into the future. Well done, sir. Good hit. <clears throat> Oops, no one really saw that little mishap there. The other ones are okay. Great. Also, other ones are They're good all the way. So, we have a lot of brass plates here. As usual with all the other things, we have lots of brass. And that now enables us to make higher tier, higher tier items up here in our little mall. So, up here in the mall. Though we haven't done it for all of them, we have done it for, let's see, this one. That one out. Boom, they get in here. They're just shuffling things in so I can get more the higher machines. And I can also take some of the other ones, the other machines, and make them higher up. For example, the radars, yep, yeah, which I used when I expanded. So, that was one thing that we did uh, in the previous episode. And then we started, so that was sort of a necessity so we could check further. Then we also went over here. 
going up and taking a look at the signs as well. The signs is standing steady. If you look at the signs here, while I've been doing all the clearing, I've taken out all of the all of the signs that only had three items. So now we're up to the four items. Also, just taking useless research, but we have a principle of no signs left behind. We'll take all of the signs, I guess, at some point. Uh, until we get to the infinite signs. Okay, so right here we have this is our new sapphire deposit. It is churning, so that's good to see. This is our logistic signs, and I cannot feel like me figure out why I don't have these upgraded. Might as well. So what I did here is a bit overscaled. I'm using the same principle as everywhere else. I'm taking these quartz here. And right now everything is steady. Let's start in a research that requires logistics just so that we can... Do I even have anything that requires logistics? Oh yeah, that one. Character logistics slots, it's fine. Yeah, we take this one. Hopefully they will generate a demand going out. Basically, if we look at this location, so they'll be consuming Hopefully some of them will go below their threshold. Let's take another one. I want to see when someone comes in and picks up from here. Because as long as no one picks up, there's no usage, right? And But look at how slow things are going in the base. I could actually build this up further. Because all of it is operational. Here, did anyone get... Nope, I'm just going to keep going then. Until someone, see now you're below 300 and the 200 is the cap. 272, 290, 276, 278, 272. Yeah, okay. It's not really going to get a lot of things inbound here. Well, that's going to take forever before that's happened. That means. I'll just get hit up another one. Okay, you can't do that. Let's do some breaking. There. Okay, so the idea here is this one is requesting items. Most of them are pretty simple. I mean, creating steel chests, very simple. It just requires a lot of steel. Then you get into the more annoying parts. And that's the this part. This actually fits really well. You can see. Oh, let's go back. This one requires one fast inserter and it's operating on half a second. This requires one normal inserter and half a second. This it requires one gear and half a second. And this one can create one gear. So this thing here can create filter inserters all at 0 0.5 speed, which is enough to saturate all of this because this is two for a second, two per second. Four for a second. And that should not be enough. Keep going on this one and here we have yellow oh right it's because each of these is operating at 14 seconds and there we go finally it all all started because that one just hit a bit below all right so oh that's beautiful to see that the uh, kicking into gear so this here is every 14 seconds requiring one and that means it requires two per second. Uh, this one is creating two per second. And then we multiply all of it by the crafting speed of two for the blue inserted of blue belts. This one up here is absolutely crazy. The number of, of uh, is because they're on the 20 second cycle. That is insanely many we need for very little value. Uh, let's get some more just so actually not. Okay, did I need to get the car back? And we'll go up and take a look at the other science we completed last time because we did actually get a bit of uh, progress on the science. I did not kill anything. Yep, well, I, there I did. Oh, now I... Oh, come on. Now I have a broken one. Come on, silly nanobots. Repair faster. Okay. Yes, I managed to get out. And there is another location up here. Pick up the car. This one is also idle. This is producing the production science. The production science needs... That means this nature needs stone bricks. Great to see we finally can use some stone bricks somewhere. 
Let's start some research that uses that. Um, steam power three, I don't know. Let's take some to use, so like strand casting. Strand casting three, you can see how fast it just churns through. Boom, let's get more, more of those. Oh, let's get some really useful one, like long mine, long mining. And we will see this one getting into gear. Again, this is, I'm just trying to figure out this will, each of these, Creates two production signs and runs on a 14 second cycle. So I have 14 and that means I need two of either production per second. So this one creates every two seconds. So this one is creating one and that one's another. So this is four per second. These are taking five seconds. So five, one per second, two per second. And here I need a lot of gears in order to feed into this part. Long line. And uh, let's go back to long reach and get long mine. Let's get more long mine until this one kicks into gear so we can see that's already also working. In the meantime, while we wait for that, I can talk about what is the next on the agenda. I've already started to indicate it on the map. I'll be working towards the green circuit. I marked the blue one here just so I know. The green circuit is, let's get it here. Um, I have no idea what it's called. Electronic logic board. No? This is really peculiar, isn't it? Board? Okay, we'll take this one because we can get it into the, that one. This is the one we want. Oh, it's long mine. I will get another long mine because why not? Here. It's still not active. Here. This one. So electronic logic board is what we need. Solder we can create easily. Electronics, basic electronic boards easily. Transistors easily. Integrated circuits, plastic, silicon wafers, tin cover wire, sulfuric acid. Easy again. And then it's the superior circuit board. Well, the only thing that's difficult here that we don't have is the glass. So I will need to, in order to make these, I need to make glass. And that's what I've indicated here. I'll make glass, which I'll do from the glass mixture. The other thing that we want to do is, oh, that's used for a lot of things. Uh, yeah, the other thing I want to do, the reason why I wanted this is actually because I want high tech science. High tech science requires this. I mean, lithium iron that means I need to go into lithium silicon nitride is easy and there it got got started keep going on this research here are certain things the speed module requires gold so we need gold and silicon nitride is easy that's just normal silicon we have it the lithium iron requires lithium perchlorate, which comes from lithium, which comes from lithium water, so we need to go into that. The other one is lithium cobalt, which means we need to go into cobalt. We have the limestone created from last time. And that's it. One more. There. What else? Um, so that's what we're going to do. First, the electronic logic board. And after that, we will go into the lithium iron batteries. And then some speed modules. Maybe you get speed modules. No, speed modules last because once I go in the modules, I will probably not be able to get out. But that's a different matter. We have the electric engines. Then we get up to the high tech science and then open up uh, all the science we need be before the, um, the rocket science. So that's going to be sort of the next couple of goals for this series. And that's now completed. Anyone else? That one is a tier eight. So we'll just take another thousand of those. Great. Okay, so I will be wrapping this one up. As you can see, the base is getting really big. These, this line and that line out here will be quite instrumental in capturing more locations. And uh, we still have some coal that we need to get rid of. I, I think we're pretty good in terms of the minerals we have available. No worries anywhere. We have lots of space available. Everything seems to be just ready for more expansions. So let's do that in the next stream. Next stream will be uh, actually uh, Friday and well Mondays they're continuing for the foreseeable future so thank you very much for joining hope you liked it please drop by by the stream uh, it's gonna have a good time then you can also yell at me for the mistakes I make 
which is always fun, at least for some of us. Okay, so take care. Until next time, bye.